Hey everybody, welcome back to the Couch Couple Couch Couple Gaming for more Wind Waker. I'm gonna see if I can hit that jar right straight ahead. I did it! Booyah! <laughs> and now you die. Oh, there's a stick. <laughs> I thought, okay, that was actually a pretty cool way to start. Start with a bang. Yep. to the realm. The mini boss? Uh, we're getting, we're getting there. I think it, it's coming up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a more of a Twilight princess. I better get more input than I played the game. Mm -hmm. That's right. You never, you never played this one past Dragon Roost Island. No, so I don't really know much about this game. Hmm. The Twilight princess will be better. Mm. Well, that's true. You did... Play Twilight Princess to completion, I think, right? Most of it. Ooh, Joy Pendant. Let's see, I think. No. Oh, crap, it's this room. Oh, my God. This room always frustrated me as a kid. You got to throw one in instead. Yeah. It's probably because that platform is so tiny. The platforms disappear or they stay once you throw it in there. They disappear they after disappear. a while, but I'm saying this platform is so tiny for doing that, that parry counterattack, you know? Yeah, it's not easy. Okay. Get on there. And boom. Yep. Like I said, I liked the lava puzzles in this game. Uh-huh. That's where we need to go to finish the dungeon, but we can't go there just yet. So, instead we're going to blow up some shit. Okay, there's our warp points back to the boss room. And there's where we got to go next. And we're back outside again. Yeah, he, he sounds pissed off, but you want to lower the, the volume for the game's audio a smidge? It's just the loo is very loud in this part. Like, you see a little slider there, just bring top, it. Top one? Yeah. Bring okay. it down to like 22. 22? It'll say negative 22 decibels. Oh, I see. No, but you're going too far now. Right here. Yeah, I see it. <clears throat> A little bit, a little further. Okay, that should, that should do it. Yeah, it's just because blue is very loud. Right. And I don't want this uh, to overlap our, our audio. Oh, Indiana Jones. Oh, there goes the stairway. Yeah, oh. The green duo, my worst enemy. Okay, you two are so gonna die now. And you'll give a shit, I'll strike you back fast with my sword. <laughs> he tried to climb up to get his sword. Neat. Now 
we got Mr. Moblin. That's a big Moblin. can just be oh he's like throwing tantrums blue's tail and something is basically badgering his tail are you sure it's just not are you sure it's not just like really bad hemorrhoids i mean he does sit up there all day <laughs> grappling hook yep and he's just looking at me like a blank stare it's like why are you doing that <laughs> Here, donkey, just climb up that little ledge. <clears throat> yeah, this would be a good a good moment to get a pictograph of uh, Valu for anybody wanting to get their um, Nintendo gallery photo. But this is, but you need the pick the box deluxe for it to count. Right. Indiana Jones in this. It don't seem like too hard to get around these dungeons. Now, Wind Waker's dungeons are... They're not overly complicated, but they do have... But they're not, like, too easy either. I think like Link's Awakening, the dungeon was pretty easy. Ah, uh, it depends. Till the later ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> ah, yes. The uh, grappling hook can also be used to steal spoils from enemies. Okay. I stole your shit. these ropes here. There we go. Let's see now. I've got this. Another joy pendant. Funny thing is that if the if Bokoblin's about to fall off a bridge, she like grabs onto it for like dear life. Oh well. Wow. Yeah. See, hopefully we will be com oh, I almost fell. Hopefully we'll be completing uh, this dungeon today. Yeah. Um, Lou. Oops. No. I did not mean to do that. I wasn't close enough to that third rope. Well, we should finish it. There we go. Got shot back up like midway down. What's the point of cutting it then? Well, oh. to come down here. Uh, those things sink. Yeah. No, they don't. They do tilt though. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, grappling hook is probably is actually pretty useful because not because not only can it uh, grab onto stuff and steal stuff from enemies, right? It can also kill like weak enemies. Oh, nice. Mm hmm Let me demonstrate with these guys. Oh, 
want to something funny about the uh, the glass bottle? Sure. Okay, you remember Phantom Ganon? Mm-hmm. Well, he's in this game, and he fires lightning bolts at you. Wow. But the funny thing is, you can actually... Normally, you're supposed to use the Master Sword to deflect the uh, lightning bolts at him. Uh-huh. You can do the same thing with the freaking bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, Nintendo always does, like, these weird... I have... I think he started swinging back right when I hit the button. Whoops. Uh, so, what I was saying is, is Nintendo always has, like, these funny ways of, um, attack, like, fighting bosses. Uh -huh. Like, you can actually distract, uh, Ganondorf in Twilight Princess with a fishing rod. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I've actually tried it, and it's true. His head looks in the direction of... He looks in the direction of the, um, the fishing lure, if you use it. Just the boss, right? No, it's just a little, um, fire wormy thing. I forget what they're... Centipede. I forget what it's called. Now, you just need him to curl into a ball so you can weigh down the switch and get the, the key inside. Typical solar puzzle. Yep. Now, something interesting about these keys is that... The big keys is that they have been, um, in this... They've been in the... In Phantom Hourglass as like just a regular old key, uh -huh. but in Spirit Tracks they're basically they're literally a big key. Uh, yeah, you can actually roll the fire. You can actually roll, and the fire will just come off if you um, if you just roll there. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. In the in the game Spirit Tracks. Um, you actually have to physically carry the key over to the big, to the, to the boss room. Uh, ah, crap, a noodle. Yeah, you physically have to carry the boss key over to the, to the room before the boss in order to complete the dungeon. Okay. Which is interesting because you didn't have to do that in other Zelda games. I forgot the, I forgot the ledge was higher. Yeah, I forgot the ledge over there was higher, that's why I fell down. There we go. We got the big key. I really gotta stop rushing it. Like, so, how many times has Link burned his ass at this point? Too many. Mm -hmm. Why did I do it again? You gotta go down a ladder. Or you gotta jump. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get to the ladder, and I'm like, I keep like second guessing myself. Yeah, you shatter your ankles. There you go. The lava to go down. This <laughs> big clawed hand looking thing. Yeah, for some reason keys are like immune to fire because they just become like fire keys. Yeah. They just it's their new form they take. Mm-hmm. You can actually steal hearts from enemies, too, if you're low on health. With a grappling hook, I mean. Crap, that's too far. Those respawn. Uh, they do if you, leave, if you exit the room. So now we just gotta go back to that to that room where we were the um, earlier. Like I said, just kind of 
Indiana Jones are way up there. Okay, either Baloo's got hemorrhoids going on or, or there's something in, in the room under his tail. It's probably the latter. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Wait, now we swing across. All right, come on, you. It's always awkward fighting this thing in this area. There we go. I'll open this. <clears throat> oh, a knight's crest. That'll be important for later. Knight's crest you can get from like dark nuts. These two little jars contain a fairy. It, okay, I didn't get that one. Got it. It's always good to have a fairy uh, handy, because, you know, it's, um, it's always a good idea to keep a fairy handy just because of the whole... You know, it's, 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 a, it's an extra life, basically. Right. Joint pendant, nice. I'm gonna save real quick. I always save before a boss fight just cause, you know. Good idea. Yeah. Never know what can happen. Hmm? Never know what can happen. Yep. Of course I've yet to lose to um, whatever's in here, huh? Okay, I don't see any hemorrhoids, but I definitely see a big rock. Mm hmm Yeah, big rock on the tail. I remember this cutscene here. This is actually what sold, pretty much what uh, made this game very memorable in the, at the E3 conference, I think. Scorpion. It's a Goma. I think it's supposed to be based off of, yeah, like a centipede and a scorpion. That's what the scorpion is about. I'm like hitting the wrong buttons. Let's see. Hang on, I need to re I need to move some stuff around. I keep hitting the wrong keys. There you go. Yeah, I'm used to setting it to like Y or X, that's why. I landed up here. Oof! You basically just had a giant, a giant thing of rock land on you. That's not gonna be. That's not gonna be comfortable. Yeah. No. Going to the lava. Stupid bug. I'm not sure if I if I can call Goma a but bug just because there is another boss that I can think of in Spirit Tracks. And its weakness is, is its butt. If I can, I'll show it to you. Sounds good. The loose tail's just thrashing around up there. He ain't happy. Alright, third time. We gotta do rinse repeat. Pretty much. Yep, there it goes. Keep going? No, not quite. Entering the second phase of the fight. It's phase two. Yeah, Is that? Uh, 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 I burned my ass. I burned my ass during the fight. Blue eye. Yeah, it's like when you when you remove Goma's armor, they are now weak, um, vulnerable to the grappling hook. Okay. So now you can bring their eye to to you and just wail on them. Hook the eye and then wail on them. Whoop them, yeah. Okay. 
So three times the grappling hook up high. Stone falls on him and then you do that. Yep. That's the fight. That's pretty much it, yeah. It's manageable. Yeah, Goma is very easy compared to... Well, truth be told, a lot of the bosses in this game are relatively easy. Yeah. But they are very cinematic, which is what makes them really memorable. Well, they all based off of. Based off of? Make animal wise. Well, not all of them are based off of animals. Like, um, like the, the like the next one is basically a giant flower. Oh, okay. Um, like I said, Goma is basically just a giant scorpion centipede thing. Okay. Um, Helmrock King is obviously a giant bird. Oh, thank God. That damn bug is gone. Off the edge. Let's see. Um, yeah, Jalhala is basically just a big fat ghost. Okay, so one of those. Hmm? Keep going. Dog, yes. How'd they get down here so fast? I sure did. Like, we literally just showed up and they were right there. like you someday, Donkis. Yes, you can stop. You can start by getting your damn wings. Okay, so here we got the first of the goddess pearls. Okay, so every boss you beat, you get a goddess pearl? The first three, yes. Okay. Well, technically, only two of the bosses, beating only two of the bosses gets you one. One of them you just kind of get for showing up. Ah, huh. okay. Yeah, that's like ancient Hylian right there on the text box. Yeah, right. Wow. A funny thing, if you beat this game and then start a new save file from that from that save point, mm -hmm. you can actually get some interesting little uh, tidbits here. You can actually read what is written in the, in the ancient Hylian text. Mm -hmm. um, Link will actually go through the adventure wearing his blue lobster shirt, which is freaking hilarious. Uh, yeah, that wind shrine we already com we already went to, and uh, you also get the pick the box deluxe, so you can act right off the bat, so you can just take photos of the people that you couldn't get before this point in time uh -huh. uh, for the Nintendo gallery. The pick the box is just there for the pick the box gallery, <laughs> Nintendo gallery. I mean, and pay close attention to that to that harp on her back. That is going to be important for later. So he won't let me in the boat unless I make change the direction of the wind. So, gonna make the wind blow south. There are there are some things I can get here, but I don't feel like getting them right now, so we'll come back to that later. Bye, Dragon Roost. It was fun listening to your music. <sighs> oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Fryman! I know he has an actual name, but I've always called him Fryman. Because he always calls Link Small Fry. Like, right there. Uh, see? Yes. So the name Fryman just kind of stuck with me. Looks like Tuna Fish Guy. Tuna Fish Guy. The mascot. Tuna Fish Mascot. Hmm. But yeah, this is the guy that fills in your uh, C chart. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's why I always buy like so much bait when I'm starting off so I can have it ready for when I actually have to fill in the chart. Nice. 
Unfortunately, he doesn't show up until after um, you beat Dragon Roast. Or after you beat Goma. Kingly Red Lion Guy! I wonder what his debt was. But I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> okay. I recall there's a submarine on the way here that has a bottle on it, and I want to grab that before I get to the next place. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Uh, I forgot how slow this sail is. Well, my swift sail. Jump. Jump. Here's some baits. Fill in the map. Small fry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do sometimes wonder how the hell does that paintbrush work when it, when he pulls it out of the water. Because like the ink would run, wouldn't it? You think so, yeah. Yeah. Alright, now let's see if I can find that submarine. I know it's on the way here. Just gotta look out for where. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like I said before, the chief complaint about this game was that it was pretty empty, the ocean, I mean. Yeah. Wasn't a lot to do between the um, not a lot to do between the um, the islands, you know. Okay, seriously, where is that submarine? Oh, I'm heading like. Wrong direction. Yeah, a little wary of storms around here just because you never know if you're going to run into a big octo. Right. Bomb Island, I can always come to that later. I mean, you can tell when you're near a big o when you're near a big octa if you find like a flock of seagulls flying around. Mm -hmm. Flock of seagulls is a no go. At least not until you get something that that can actually beat them. Where the hell is that submarine? I know it was around here somewhere. You see those little pointy islands in the far distance? Those are fairy isles. Uh huh. Over there, see? Yeah, straight ahead. Yep. Yeah, those fairies. Uh, those are the great fairies of this of this world, and they can give you uh, upgrades to your wallets, to your to your bombs, uh, and to your uh, arrows. Uh, they, one of them can actually also give you, uh, extra, like, can give you extra magic. You know, like, uh, like a buffed magic meter, you know? Right. Because, yeah, you get magic when you come to this area. 
Yeah, I must have missed the submarine with the with the bottle on it. So, just pick it up another day. Y'all, yeah, you pretty much almost always come here at night. Give me the ruby. So yeah, there's the forest haven and the forbidden woods. seen this place like first coming here at night. How are you talking without moving your mouth? And then again you're a boat. You just gotta make them like get their neck to go up. Yeah, you just gotta get them to get their neck to go up right. But it's a little bit tricky because they because they require a certain number of hits before they can do that. Although if you have the boomerang, you can one hit them or right. one shot them. Octorok. These are like freshwater Octoroks. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah, you die. I remember when I was a kid, I always thought it was a hassle just getting up here. Yeah, it kind of was. Let's try and go over here. And boosh, right back at you. Now we go in here. And what waits what awaits us in this forest? I guess we'll have to find out next time. Alright. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. You all be safe, stay healthy, like and subscribe, and have a good one. Bye.